I just want to show you something funny before we start this one. Net transfer spending in the Premier Division. We have earned 107 million this this season, right? It's this season, right? Yeah. And yeah, Manchester City minus 171 million. But um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of to be expected when you can't buy any players, but you have way too many players. So uh, yeah, that's a fun one. Roll the intro. Welcome back, friends, fellow Viking, all that, turkey lovers, whatever. Are you crazy here with, uh, well, more Danish Dynamite? It's literally been five minutes since the last episode. Pretty fun, isn't it? But, uh, <laughs> I mean, let's just get this bloody season over with. I mean, we're playing Tottenham again, and I've only made one change, and that's sadly a forced one. Mr. Andreas Paulsen uh, got himself injured last one, so luckily it's only uh, another day, that is. But uh, that's going to actually make a debut, mean a debut to one of our... Random regions. I mean, they're all random regions at this point, almost. But this one looks kind of interesting, right? I think he's more of a centre back. But I mean, he doesn't actually hit, so maybe I'm wrong there. Jumping really straight, actually. Ooh, that's actually very, very wrong. But technique is not good. Hmm. But uh, yeah, I mean, fast, all sorts, very brave, teamwork, work rate. So yeah, maybe I'm actually wrong. Now that I think about it, I'm probably wrong in saying that. So he's probably a fullback. Um. So yeah. Let's give him a start, because, frankly, why not? Other than that, everything stays the same, but we are pretty much hit with people being knackered and stuff, so our, this this year's uh, golden generation boy or whatever, Mr. Gustav Carlsen, can, can slot into the bench. And uh, I mean, it's the last game of the season, it almost doesn't matter, so maybe we'll give him some minutes here and there. Why not, right? It'll be fun. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. Tottenham. Oh, and he needs, oh, we need all sorts of numbers. Two and eight? No, that can't be right. That can't be right. Even though it doesn't really matter, I guess. This is the last game of the season, right? But Right, well, apparently we're favourites now. Do you remember in the last game it said, like, uh, we were huge underdogs or something? So, um, I don't know what happened. I mean, I guess we beat them <laughs> four days ago. So now, we're, I mean, they're playing the same dude again. Why not just... I mean, I'm not going to complain, but surely pay, play Parrot up front. That's a bit of a tongue twister there. But. Let's see if the game engine is still confused on who am I am managing, because mm, I think last game was a bit of a tell. That's not good for Fagir, but we do keep the ball. The Rami, are you going to have a good performance again? I mean, yeah, he's taking on his man. It's just all right. This is looking very ominous, right? Okay, we have so many open players. Please, gentlemen, just shoot or do that. Okay. Ooh, I can see it. You can't because of my beautiful, beautiful face, but the linesman is giving it all that, and uh, yeah. Sadly, it probably was correctly offside, right? Let's see it again, because, well, why not? And here we go. So this Mr. M. Jensen, who is that now? Is that our left back? Yeah, um, why do they all have the same name? Yeah, so it's another Jensen. Oh, I mean, even as a Dane, it's confusing for me. Holy moly, so I have Benjamin Jensen, Matthias Jensen, and Hetzen. They're just all the... The standard, very old-fashioned Danish names, as I forgot to press play, sorry. I guess when it comes to regions, the, <laughs> there's just a certain, like, uh, names that they always pick, and it's very old-fashioned. But Not old-fashioned, but, like, it's very standard Danish names. So, um, it's going to get confusing. <laughs> Don't worry, it's confusing for me, too, as Narty now brings us in front. Good finish from him, and he's doing a cartwheel. That is beautiful. Beautiful athleticism. Sorry, that was a tough one to say, especially with stuff in my mouth. But uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's my own fault, right? Narty, I mean, great finish there. And Onana is, well, he was glued to the floor again there, like, in the first match. <coughs> he's still up with the goal kick. No, it was actually a free kick, but you know what I mean. The dump score is just, that was a lovely little dribble there. Jakob now is very far up Narty. Okay, Jensen, Hoybia. To Jensen, to Nilsen, to Poulsen. Oh, no, 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 I'm just, I'm waffling. Jensen to Jensen. Oh, no, it's another Poulsen to Poulsen and Jakobsen. I mean, it's so confusing. Fakir, oh, goes close. Inches wide, it said. He should have scored. And also, it was apparently offside. I mean, the linesman was giving it. He's, the linesman is definitely ready for this match. In, in, in throws it away to us. So, 
maybe it's a good sign to come. There are me. I mean, you're literally running the wrong way, but okay. We keep possession, which is good. The Rami is still there, right? No, suddenly he's in there. I mean, he fooled even me. Oh, is he going to be upside? Come on. Come on. The VAR is probably upside, right? Yeah, goal doesn't stand. That was a shame. Let's see. Did we see this again? I th I thought this player here was the Rami and everything was just weird, but the Rami was actually suddenly up there. He just used bloody teleportation unit or something. But uh, yeah, fractured the offside, sadly. Wait, that's two disallowed goals now. Boo! We don't like that at all. As son to Sisson Young. I mean, that actually sounds pretty good. Son. <laughs> right, well, so far so good, I would say. Oh my god, there actually might be a highlight more. Oh, that was a questionable goal kick or whatever from Monana there. Now, Jakobsen, we have so many players up. Go on, finish it. Uh, this is what I was worried about, and now, uh, whatever his name is, Pitania, and a Kane is in. Come on. What? I mean, I know Kane is good, but shouldn't Mr. Stenop have saved that one? Let's see that one again. Let's get rid of this for now. Uh, Son, so Son just, it's a good pass, I guess. That is question of the defending from Nelson. And then Stenop, I mean, you definitely could have saved that, right? He dives the, I mean, he does that, but flies the other way. What on earth is that? So now it's 1-1 one, one at halftime. I'm not happy, lads. Come on, make a difference. Make a difference. Yeah. Okay, so now we just throw the ball away. Of course we do. Ooh, we win that. Yes, good from Jakobsen. Now it's Benjamin Jensen. Ooh, Fagir was running, but he's, ooh, he's, he's back up. Are you joking? There's another offside goal. Like, whole, I mean, I think it was offside, but three goals disallowed so far. Holy smackeroni. I mean, game, that seemed very close indeed, but holy mackerel. I'm going to encourage them. They're, the players definitely need encouraging after all that. Okay, Harvey over the corner, and it's stopped. Yes, see, Kim Hansen heads it in. Of course, the highlight started with the corner, so there is a chance. Yay! SI engine, not predictable at all, but we love the game, so who are we to judge? Hansen, six goal, by the way, I noticed, from a center back, who is, what is he? Is he 17 still? Yeah, 17 years old. Not too shabby. Okay, a throw. I was going to make changes, but we do have a throw in now. Jensen to Jensen, and then what is going on? So, back to Jensen into Hoybia! Of course, he's playing versus... Is Hoibia even playing versus his old team? But uh, we're going to make some changes here. Uh, Victor Nelson is randomly playing really... Is it going to happen? I mean, there's 20 minutes left. Let's get Gustav pa uh, Carlsen on. Central defender, defend. Yeah, and then I want to see, did he even play then for Tottenham? No, he didn't. Jeremy Hoibia never played for Tottenham, of course, because, yeah, the way I edited the game, right? So, I was going to say he played versus his old team, but nah, he did not. Okay, as now they're just going to counter from this. Okay, wait. I think that was offside as well. I could see the linesman. The linesman has been very busy today. I'm glad he's on point. Yeah, Kane was offside. I mean, yeah, we don't need to see that one again. Um, right, another bloody highlight. Oh, no, no. Please don't. What on earth was that defending? I mean, I did just put a 15-year-old in, but he just had it to clear. It's Carlson on the roof. Uh, no, Durami, Fakir, he's going to be upside again, isn't he? I mean, he's finally onside, apparently, but then can't actually score. Mm, focus, I think. Probably have at the corner, Hansen. Yeah, see. But uh, we will make some more changerinos, cappuccinos. Eskil Del can come on. Should we give you to Paulson some game time? Yeah, why not? Fakir has not been, not really been on it tonight. And when I say on it, I mean he's literally been offside the whole game, apparently. He's done an Inzaghi, except he didn't actually score a goal anyways, which is what Inzaghi would always do. Okay, now Son, as I'm waffling about Filippo Inzaghi, <laughs> Stenov caught the ball, and now he's going to launch it to use a pole. Yes, nicely done, actually. And Dumps got, oh yeah, good, good triple. I mean, you're kind of closing yourself in that pole, Use a pole, I mean, look at the action bar over here. Holy moly, notable events. I mean, we, we're going to have to make it bigger soon. What on earth? 
And I just wanted like a quick, easy game to show you, like the the last game, so we could focus on the Champions League final, and then we get all this. This is going to be like the, the longest video ever, and I've said that many times. Great goal from Paulson, though. Now I assume they're going to score one more, right? So it finishes three two again, even though we've been I wouldn't say smashed them, but we've played really well, and uh, yeah, I mean I guess there's a reason Tottenham have been crap all year, even though they've changed managers, God knows how many times. Uh, pretty much how many times I change underwear in a week, which is zero. Uh, as Benjamin Jensen just drives forward and scores a goal. Beautiful goal, as my scout is out looking for Danes. Because, yeah, window is going to open soon. And actually, for a change, I'm going to sign also the players. I'm not sure that counts as player. Definitely not a defender, that one. <laughs> and she definitely doesn't want to run. And we rely on high work rate on our team, so I'm not sure about that one. But, you know, call back when you get, a, get another one. Right, well, well done, lads. Let's see how it actually finished in the league then, because I think nothing, literally nothing changed. So we did so well, and we're still going to finish fourth, right? Oh, accidentally continue. But yeah, let's see. So yeah, we did indeed finish fourth. I mean, it's, of course, it's not bad, but you kind of, with that run, well, actually, that run of form there, United, Tottenham, Tottenham, plus Liverpool, pretty darn impressive, and I'm glad you got to see all of it, because there were actually some good matches in there. But uh, yeah, let's fast forward to what happens, uh, matters the most, sorry. Oh, and we're back, and I've suited up, of course I have. It's a bloody Champions League final, how can I not? I'm just looking through the past results versus uh, the mighty, the might of Chelsea, and uh, not looking all too good. I will say, though, this season, has been a lot better, like a 3-1 win and then a 1-1 draw away, I assume. Does it say? Yeah, it was away. So actually, it kind of shows how we've progressed, I think, that, uh, yeah, this season especially. But uh, it's definitely going to be entertaining if you're going to go by the same, uh, by the same, I don't know. Sorry, my brain and mouth stopped working there. I couldn't think of what to say, but uh, let's just move on and forget everything that happened. And uh, this is going to be the team that does it, that wins the Champions League. It's going to be Jakobsen at right back. Christensen is going to come back. Of course, it's also versus Chelsea, so he's bound to score, right? Then I'm actually doing something controversial. I'm starting Hansen in front of him, but I mean, he scored. Like, what, what is his uh, reports form? I think he scored, like, he scored recently, right? He's played really, really well. So actually, Mr. Victor Nelson drops out on the bench because eh, he wasn't really impressive. So that's a bit of a gamble, but yeah. Paulson is back at left back, which is absolutely good. Hoibian Nazi in the middle. Of course, Stenhoff in goal. I always forget him because, uh, well, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? Paul Larsen is back, so he's going to play on the right. Dumps go on the left. And Benjamin Jensen is actually going to play in the middle. I was really impressed with him, and he played really, really well in the last game. So why not? We do have Ericsson on the bench, and he is fit. I just, why why drop a, a man in form? And then Yusuf Paulson up front. Fakir was a bit hit and miss, and I mean, we put Yusuf Paulson on in the last match, and he really scored a goal. So, um, yeah. Wusa, wusa, wusa. And yeah, of course, Chelsea's team is pretty darn scary nowadays. Lautaro Martinez up front with Sancho Havertz and Chukwueze behind him. Uh, mate Mount Kante. How old is Kante nowadays? 32, but still just an a beast, right? Chilwell, and then they have Lisandro Martinez at the back. Hmm, interesting. Uh, Tomori, Reese James, and then this Emil Aduro, which is a very strange... Uh, Emil is very strange for an Italian name, right? Wouldn't it be like Emilio or something? I don't know. Maybe I'm being racist, I don't know. I certainly didn't mean to, but uh, let's get the game underway as we have immediate line light, maybe? It's a free kick. Of course, we don't have Ericsson on, so there's a chance we might score. Indeed. That's why you don't play Mr. Ericsson, because if you do get a free kick, someone else will take it, and they will actually score. Beautiful, beautiful management by me. Boon Larsen. Uh, I mean, it's not the greatest, but I mean, it does the trick. And uh, Emiliano Auduri. Odeiro in the goal does not keep it out. Okay, I demand some focus from the lads as we start very deep, which always means, yes, something terrifying is about to happen. Sancho, just shoot from there. <gasps> I mean, okay, okay, okay. Okay, now they start from the back. Is this going to be terrifying for them as well? Um, whew, I can't believe we're actually in the bloody Champions League final. I mean, this was never, ever ex something I expected. Like, uh, I, I, my idea with this is, I guess, to win the Premier League at some point, I would love to, right? But it's going to be very, very difficult. I'd never in a million years expected I would ever win the Champions League. Certainly not in the, what's that, third season or fourth season or whatever we are now. I mean, we're not going to win it yet. So uh, let's just keep 
uh, keep not talking about stuff like that because Chilwell, well, he just chilled my expectation there, didn't he? Mount the Chilwell. Who was that? I think it was Naughty. Yeah, not good marking there, but hmm. Of course, that gives us a good opportunity to encourage, which works when it, you're drawing or losing by one, I feel, but... Uh, post? Uh, it looked a certain goal. I don't think it did, but whatever. Free kick from Boulasen. He's probably not going to shoot from there, but... Oh, this, oh, that looked like one of those that could have been a random penalty that no one in the world would have seen coming, but uh, we seem to... Oh, Paulson is now! Paulson actually does it! Paulson! Yusuf Paulson! He has a tendency to miss a lot, but boy oh boy does he also score sometimes. And is the patented? No, I thought it was Paulson to Paulson, but it actually is Damp score to Paulson. And then, cool, selected finish, I assume. Sure, why not? Okay, it's almost half time, lads. Focus, focus, focus. Let's not concede, especially not a silly goal. Let's not concede a silly goal right before half time. That would be, well, silly, right? Sancho's driving forward. Just shoot from there again. No, we're going to make a penalty, aren't we? Chilwell now. For crying out loud. I mean, it was at least a good goal. So, nothing to proper whine about, but a bit annoying, bit annoying, bit annoying. And there we have it, half time. Hmm, what do you even do? What do you do? Should I say that? I'm just going to say I'm happy with your performance. See, they love it. I'm going to trick them. But sometimes it just randomly seems to work. I don't know why. Okay, throw into us, which always means something completely, utterly random is going to happen. Emiliano Audue Audero <laughs> just completely missed the ball and Yusuf Poulsen prods it home. That is not what I expected when this highlight started. Let me tell you that. See, that's very scary throw in there. But uh, Poulsen, yeah. I mean, excellent poacher goal, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, it was a proper, typical Yondale Thomason goal as we throw it away again. I mean... Maybe, I mean, I'm just lost for words now, okay, uh, because I was saying all sorts of weird things that they're just piling for, okay, it's our, uh, James now, uh, I mean, I guess it, it's still, I guess it doesn't count anymore as us providing a <laughs> error to lead them into goal, Sancho has really not been very lucky this game, has he? I am not complaining, but it is, it is pretty tense here, it's more, you know. Out to James, Chukwese, oh, great, great tackle, a little bit there. Are we back to this SI? We've had a lovely time so far, we've played some lovely matches, we've played some beautiful football. Is this the time you start mugging me off again? Mason Mount with the, why is it not? Penalty. Penalty. I mean, we're going for a record here and after the last match of events that's happened. I don't need to see the penalty again. Thank you very much. Encourage the lads, I suppose. Chelsea now with the goal kick and they're building very nicely at the back. Sancho, yeah, just do your thing, Sancho. Shoot from there. You know you want to. But I uh, know he sadly brings in other players, which is not good for us. But, uh, <gasps> what? Uh, Questionable goalkeeping there, but oh, there's some sort of goal line technology. Don't, don't you dare. I mean, are we ever going to see it? Hello? What? I mean, great. Thank you. Thank you, SI. That was very informative. Everyone could clearly see exactly what was going on. And um, yeah, sure, why not? Okay, so I have a plan here. They have Chukwezu on the bench. We're going to put Chukwani on the bench. That is bound to confuse everyone. Jakobsen is also struggling. Let's get Leonard Jensen on. I'm not sure why, but okay, why not? He does have high tackling. Oh no! They don't even have Chukwezu is off. God damn it. Well, maybe we'll still confuse them. They'll think it's Chukwezu that, uh, that's on the field and they'll pass it to him instead. Go on! I mean, that was questionable from the goalkeeper as well. We somehow managed to keep the ball there. That is tense. Come on, lads. It's Leonard Jensen. You want it? <laughs> Not like this, not like this. Yusuf Demir to Sancho, shoot! <laughs> that probably was a shot, that's the worst bit about it. Sancho has been absolutely dreadful, and now his terrible, terrible shot has ended up with a cross to, who even was it, Havertz. Yusuf Demir just drives it forward, and Sancho, you know how he 
let's see. Was it actually? A it definitely, <laughs> definitely was a shot. Maybe. Ah, uh, that is that is heartbreaking. Okay, well, let's encourage, but also make a change. What are we changing then? Benny Minjensen. I'm sorry. Eriksson on. Fix this. Fix this bull crap. I mean, I did promise an entertaining match because that is the history between me and Chelsea. Uh, why do I have to see this if I'm not the winner? Boo! I don't need to see this, lads. Come on. I'm disappointed. Yeah, we couldn't win. Well, they seemed motivated. They actually seemed motivated. We gave it our best shot. Sure, we worked extremely hard. All sorts. That is an absolute sucker punch. I could not agree more. Champions League, Champions Cup final heartache. Indeed. Holy moly. May some Arab. Absolutely symbolic. Symbolic? Whoa, calm down, mate. Uh, I mean, looking at it overall, I suppose they did deserve it a little bit, did they not? They did have more of the game, but. <sighs> also, the game was clearly bugged because Andreas Kessensen didn't score, which is SI. So maybe it was a 4 4 and we won on penalties. Let us say that. But nah. <sighs> I guess we just go again. I mean, I, like I said, I definitely was not expecting to even get to the final. I was expecting to get raked by Atletico Madrid. And then by PSG. And then by Real Madrid. And we did get wrecked by Chelsea, so. <sighs> Heartbreaking, right? And finishing fourth in the season, but. I think we made a very good effort, and there is going to be lots of changes next season. I actually have players coming in, which is very exciting. Uh, they've been waiting for years and years almost, um, so I'm going to have a complete rejig of the squad. I know I've said this like 800 times already, but this is the year. This is where we sell all the old fudgers and then start rebuilding. <laughs> I think I think we've been doing that good this season, like betting in the 17-year-old. I mean, look at the... 17 year olds here and they've actually been playing a big part of the season i mean it's going to be interesting to see how they actually progress and uh, yeah i'm very very exciting very, very excited which is very strange it's weird to be excited about something that's pretty much the same year in year out but it's very exciting to just see the same players and then hopefully see them blossom into something beautiful so uh yeah speaking of beautiful if you've enjoyed this look press like subscribe all that and uh, yeah, I'll be back with uh, another season because yes.